Hey, welcome back. We're going to do an alternate build today. So we've already done the beekeeper's house, which is an alternate build of the, the, the big Lego friends tree house. And I downloaded the instructions for this from Rebrickable. There's a whole video about it. Check it out. But today we're going to do a similar thing to the Madrigal house. And, but we don't, because the Madrigal house doesn't have many pieces, we actually need two sets of the Madrigal house. Took me forever to get a second set of this. <laughs> My gosh, you just can't get it anywhere. And you need a uh, base plates. So, like you're supposed to have a really long one, but I'm going to see whether these two work. Anyway, so to do this, I have downloaded the instructions from Rebrickable. So this is called Enchanted House. It is by the, this whole design is made up by Lego Artisan, who also did the Beekeeper's House. And the instructions cost me $5 to purchase them. Oh, look at what they look like side by side. They're just, this Lego Artisan <laughs> makes amazing designs. I couldn't even imagine how to take the pieces from one set, or two sets in this case, and turn it into an entirely different, but really, really cohesive and beautiful looking end product okay but hopefully I can do this with the base plates with two separate base plates so this is what I have so I'm gonna start building and hopefully as we go it actually ties the two together nice and strongly strongly is that the word nice and securely securely so we've got a whole heap of alternating yellow and orange jumper plates here which makes really nice flooring so that's going to be the inside so these designs are really they're made to turn turn your existing models into modular modular buildings so they look like fantastic apartment buildings so not really easy to access, access what's inside but uh, you know, it's the outside that's important for these, but the inside's still filled with lots of details. So we've got a little corner kitchen over here, and then this is the front, I think. I think this is the front. I'll, I'll, we'll find out as we go along anyway. On the inside, this box would normally have a sticker on it, but I haven't put the stickers on my second set. The couch is exactly as it was in the actual Madrigal house. Got a really nice little table with the flowers in the middle. So it's super cozy. There's a couple of chairs. There's room for just enough of everything you need just inside in this little teeny tiny living space gramophones exactly as it was in the original madrigal house too got a <laughs> got the umbrella sitting there right in the doorway and now this is amazing i would never have thought to do this but you know i'm not much of a custom builder I'd, this is why i love doing custom builds to see different ways to make different things so these hinged pieces have been put in backwards so they actually make a right angle and the top is secure like it's gonna make we're making another level basically with all of these hinge pieces which were utilized to put the roofing on in the original design so we have lots and lots of them and now they're being used for something else entirely different that i would never have thought of so this is just amazing so we got the front here uh got some nice yeah it's really interesting things going on on the front i don't know where this is all gonna go it's all gonna come together in the end so all of these hinge pieces have created a split level which we're tiling with the alternating orange and yellow tiles. So, and we've got stairs going up to, that's really, really so clever. Oh my gosh. All right, and on the split level, so we got a kitchen and a little living area down below and a pile of what could be books or it could be anything really. Oh, well, I mean, there's sewing machines up here as it was in the Madrigal house. So I reckon it's gonna be material. I wanna turn this door around so that we can see the all that beautiful artwork on the outside. These door pieces are now, like open shuttery pieces that you can actually open up and then access like you can pass through from the kitchen out to the living area the dining area outside for your alfresco dining it's so pretty okay more hinge pieces now going on so that they make those nice secure right angles to make stairs this is just so this is mind-blowing for me i am looking at hinge pieces in a whole new light now and this uh this is going to be up here at the top of the stairs got that nice sticker on it just a bit of decoration <laughs> and so we've got a landing and then some more stairs to curve no not to curve to keep going further up so this is gonna be a very very tall tall bottom level which makes sense because the beekeeper's house was as well and the modulars look they look good like that gives really really tall bottom bottom story this is so smart this is and also really pretty so gold pieces to make a floral arrangement out the front of what is going to be i assume the windows but i can't figure out from the instructions whether these are supposed to be the darker the orangey brown tiles or the i think it's these not tiles the brickwork i think it's these i think i had it right initially 
<laughs> I'll find it when I get to the end and if I have the wrong colored bricks left over. So a big orange. What? How does my brain translate green into orange? Honestly, I don't know what's going on inside my head sometimes. So a big green wall. The shutter pieces are just breaking that up a bit and can also be utilized as windows. Got some inward facing studs here to put some of those really nice big tapestry works now on the wall look how tall that wall is it looks amazing and the front door is built up these got the stickers on them I don't know whether maybe you could face them outwards would that look good uh I don't know we'll put some windows in no I don't think so we, you're gonna barely see them on the inside but that's fine all right so on the outside on the front here fantastically tall window got some flowers on either side it's looking so it it still keeps the character of the color scheme and the style of the madrigal house with these big tall arches the orange arches over the door and the window but it doesn't look like the madrigal house anymore but it still keeps the style and the theme okay uh tiles over the top so we can put the next layer on and it'll be detachable some more of these hinges to make some more stairs i really like this sticker use as the front door the front door mat that's really really nice oh my gosh the hinges just blown away another umbrella at the front door and all of these little technique pieces are gonna end up with plants in them I think so we've got these plants on either side of the door I'm just gonna angle them out a bit and then this is the palm tree build that we see pretty much almost exactly the same as in the madrigal house itself times two and they flank yeah they flank the windows that's majestic and amazing. All right, so this is the back for the alfresco eating area. So this is where Lego Artisan has put a whole heap of the duplicates of the eating stuff, plus some little tables and little chairs. The chairs have all got studs on them, so they're not going to be very good for mini dolls, but you can pop your mini figures on them, and I'll change them out for my mini, mini dolls later. Another table over here with some random stuff, and it's supposed to have another gramophone out here as well, but I just I left that left that out because I just didn't want to clutter it too much. Love the coral brickworks and a couple of like little twin wind turbines just to give it so much character. All of these pieces that were on the roofing before are now part of the part of the wall. Isn't this amazing? And speaking of walls, this interesting plate design <laughs> with all these plates and a cloud clouds on the middle. This is a wall piece now and on the uh, the designs on the outside and these shelving pieces are on the inside and I would never have thought to do this so these are just getting some random knickknacks on and that'll just make this wall look not so bare from the inside and the outside looks amazing it's just filled with character which is what the Madrigal house is anyway but Lego Artisan hasn't lost that in this redesign. Oh, this is so good. So this is the flooring of the next level and the instructions for this aren't terribly easy to follow, but I think I'm getting it right. So I'm supposed to put in two three by one plates and I can't figure out where the other one's supposed to, it'll become clear as we keep building, I'm sure. All right, so for the actual stuff in this room, putting some fencing or like railing work with the white curly cue pieces around the hole which will be where the top of the where the stairs come out and then there's a window piece here this is so pretty the window at the top of the stairs I mean that's so good and those really big oh really big door pieces are making an out like an inside outside balcony section oh my gosh all right we've got a pile of stuff again which in this case I'm going to call books and <laughs> we've got a bed which is supposed to have the duplicate stickers but I just haven't put them on lime green walling which looks so good this is yeah that's supposed to have a sticker on it too so that would have a little poster on the wall but I think it looks fine just with the with the plain tile it just adds color to it and once again all of this gold embellishment with the flowers to make the window pot or just you know the window design it still keeps the mediterranean feel this this redesign still keeps the mediterranean feel to the actual original build which just blows my mind so a smaller yeah smaller size window because this level is a bit shorter that's supposed to go facing inwards this looks great so heading out onto the balcony area there's another little eating section there's a spot with some boxes that you can just put random things in I don't know where this table is supposed to go let me put in let me move that over that's supposed to go over one put these in here and then yeah that should fit there that's nice then alternating that with the purple bricks this is 
<laughs> this is so good. This is really, really so good. Okay, building up the balcony. So these... Oh, we get lots of flowers on here and hangy bits. So this one's also got that hangy pink blobby bit, but <laughs> this is, that's, I'm sure that's what it's flower. That's what the flower is, a hangy pink blobby bit, but also a grape on it as well. And then arches. Oh, it's a beautiful little terrace. I want to live here. Okay. All right. So working up on the roofy section, more of these, lots of these little roundy bits, which means maybe this is where this is going to be finishing for this veranda section because you can't stick anything on those and this is a green bed once again it should have another sticker but oh they're bunk beds so you just pop that in above oh, above the other pink bed that is so smart oh gosh all right now all right so i don't think we can fit anything else in that room it's gonna be fiddly to get back in there again anyway so oh these are the pieces of the second sofa from the second set and they just make design on the top of the window once again keeping in with the theme and this now should be ready to go on top here just oh, it's it's intersecting just a little bit with the palm trees. I might just have to... <laughs> the palm trees and the pink blobbly fruit, fruit they're, you know, they're permanently engaged now. Now look how amazing that looks from every side. If I tried to do this, it would just look higgledy-piggledy. This is so good. Okay, so now the roof shape is so interesting. I have got... Mm, I think I've got the wrong brown tiles here, but I'm just going to ignore that. I've put, I've obviously put the reddish brown tiles that I was supposed to have up here on the roof. Uh, somewhere else in this build <laughs> got the colors around the wrong way but no one's going to notice surely and the candles so the candles that are, are at either end in open windows so they're still on display oh those turquoise single studs the round studs just look so nice as columns there they just add a pop of color speaking of a pop of color now we get some shape oh there so each end's going to be different so this side even though it's got even though it's got the candle in the window it's going to have a different embellishment that's really really cool so clever it's going to look different front to back that's so whimsical i love it okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm enjoying this too much. So the embellishment on this side, I keep knocking that off because I'm trying to build not on a flat surface anymore. So this uses some of the, the rainbow pieces, the pieces from the rainbow. Oh, that's so good. And now we put these on to create the roof line. Just I think I've got those in the right places. A whole heap of those wedge pieces and that goes in here. And then this goes on top and creates the rounded a rounded effect this is amazing all oh, these hinged pieces being put to good effect all right so same thing for the other side and then i'm curious to see what goes put this on the wrong spot there we go fix that up i'm curious to see how we top this so it can just go on flat oh that's so good all those pieces with the little ridged panel bit. And this was already on the top of the original, yeah, the original magical house, but now we have it times two, one on either side, the little gold spire. And wow, look at this, it's just gonna top it off so beautifully. And the colors tie in nicely too with the orange. And then on this side, it's a little bit more higgledy piggledy, but that's technically the back, but I like it. I just like that it's different on each side, but still not finished yet because we have a purple plate and this is going to get all of those bits of foliage that are left over, all that pink foliage. And the foliage is going to be the topper for the balcony. So pretty. Let's see if I'm getting these in the right place. I mean, it probably doesn't matter where I put them, but I did forget to put these little bits of pink on to layer it up and build it up a bit more. Look at that. That's why you've got all of those rounded bits. It just sits, it nestles in beside them. Oh, so smart. <laughs> I'm just blown away. Let's put some of the some of the family members in here. I mean, if I put them inside the house, we're not going to be able to see them. But this is really, I mean, it's for display for the outside. And the outside looks incredible. Oh, my gosh. All right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And putting it together with the beekeeper's house. Look at them. They just, they're just so happy side by side. There's such different styles. Different themes, like completely different themes. And yet... They go so nicely together and we can nestle this in amongst the other modular buildings. And even though they're vibrant colors, the actual designs look like they look cohesive with the rest because the roof lines and yeah, just because Lego Artisan is so, so very clever. 
floor with his designs. I'm so blown away. Look at the crazy little pop of colour. But it doesn't look too crazy. It certainly <laughs> looks as though someone's magicked them into this boring suburbia. A little bit of magical sunshine. I love this so much. All right, let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to do. If you could, if you, well, you know, trying to get two magical houses is a bit hard, but hopefully in the future they'll become more common and easy to get. Yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, check back in because there'll be more videos coming up really soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.